Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing? It's a big day. It's called Monday. Right. St. Patty's Day is this week, I think, right? What's that? St. Patty's Day, yeah, Friday. Yeah. That's what I heard. Very good. I know people can drink all week. <laughs> <laughs> green drinks all week. Green drinks all week. That reminds me, I got to go down there and take my green drink, Michelle. She gets mad at me if I don't take my athletic greens. She gives me the evil athletic green eye. It's good for you. Can't hear you. Can you hear me? I can, I can hear you, Johnny. I can't hear Michelle. Oh. I said that I think I overdid it yesterday with all the cooking and walking I did. I slept almost nine hours and I'm still exhausted. I don't know. It's crazy. You heard it here first, y'all. Michelle's exhausted. <laughs> Not for long, though. I'll be awake here in just a minute. All right. Get back it up. Well, very good. Hey, Brandy and Cedric and Tanya. I'll let Jonathan take it over. I just take it away, Johnny. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Hope you're doing well. And uh, it's a new week. So uh, a couple things I wanted to – to mention some events coming up uh, next month in Denver. We have a view from the edge. So if you haven't, if you've thought about going or you haven't thought about going, it's coming up in a month. It is uh, still discounted um, as far as the tickets, tickets go. And the flights are pretty cheap to Denver uh, from pretty much anywhere. So, it's going to be a good event, um, not just the training, like just being there to kind of meet everybody in person, if you can make it, will be worth your time and uh, not including any of the training. So I've, I've actually never seen Mark Seta do this event, but I've heard that it's totally different than any of the other stuff that he does. Because I think, Mike, you said you've been to – you and Michelle went years ago. Yeah, yeah, years ago, man. Another another company when he was, when that's how I know him from way back in the day before we even found the alliance. Uh, <clears throat> he's one of the best edutainers, and you know, there's people that can educate, there's people that you know can entertain, but he's one of the best that does edu what I call edutainment. He makes it engaging, interesting. It is a full on theatrical deal. That's why we're doing it in kind of like this old opera house thing in in, in Denver. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's still time to get signed up. You know, don't, it, it's it's never too late. You know, until after the event, as one more tell you, mm -hmm. it's never too late till after the event. But if you're thinking about getting there, talk to us. You know, let's figure out a plan on on how you can get there. Because um, what we do know is every event we've been to, um, something good, uh, big decisions are made, and something good happens. You know, so fire it up. You want more information? Let us know. I'm sure we'll talk about it again on the on the uh, the nine o'clock coaching call. But yeah, get there, man. It's fun. It's re it really is. It's engaging. Yeah. Mike it, always wanted me to go to events because every time I went to one, my production would go way up. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it is yeah, true. It's true. You know. Um. You know, I think because I was thinking about what to talk about this morning and I have a few things, but one of them that kept just coming across my mind was, you know, anything you do, you invest time in it. Um, you know, even if you're, you know, working a regular job, if you're doing this part time, right. You invest, you invest time in pretty much anything you decide to do day to day or week to week. And, I was thinking about this business. I was like, you know, we invest in certain things, um, leads being the main one, um, but also, you know, training events that we go to. And, you know, what there's a lot of things to invest in, but I was thinking about it. I was like, you know, when you invest in yourself, I've never, at least for me, I've never lost money investing in myself. I've always seen pretty big return because 
it's yourself, right? You, you know, you invest in yourself, you get better, you apply it to the next, you know, appointment, the next situation that you come across and you're that much better because you invested in yourself, if that makes sense. Um, and, you know, it's really true. If you, if you were to look at like your numbers in the business and compare, compare your numbers from where you were a year ago or six months ago, or three months ago, you're a lot better now than you were when you started. So I think that's important to, uh, to mention. And, uh, Something I think that we tend to maybe forget, like the importance of getting around other people um, so they can help us, which we have the daily call, obviously. Um, but there's something different about being in person, you know, I like where you get to like talk and, you know, hug on people, and shake their hand. Like we had some family in yesterday and uh, from Megan's side of the family, her cousin and his kids. It was really good to see them. And it's different being there and talking with them, much different than it would have been if we had a FaceTime call, right? Um, it's hard to explain, but it's just a different interaction. And you have, I think there's more impact from it. So, um, and I have stories too, like, I mean, even this year. So we're coming up on the end of the first quarter this month on the 31st. So that means we're going to have three more quarters in the year. And our initial event was in January, um, January 6th like 14th or 16th, I believe. Can't remember the exact dates, but it was in Dallas this year. And that next month, I had my best month. I don't think it was coincidence, right? <clears throat> I think it was a culmination of working, but also seeing, you know, other people be really successful at an event in multiple different states, not just my immediate team just expands what you're able to do, um, expand your vision. So I really encourage you if you, if you haven't been to an event, if you're thinking about it, um, if you feel like, you know, man, I don't know if I can go because of finances or something like that. Let one of us help brainstorm with you. Um, Cause I, I really truly believe going real will impact your business and your personal life. Um, and so if you feel like you're limited in some way to get there, you know, reach out to me or somebody so we can brainstorm on a way to maybe help you do that. Um, so I think I've covered that well enough, but I feel like it's important because, you know, I don't know if you've guys seen family, this year at all um but you know life is precious um it's you know as you go through life and things happen you realize what's important to you and when you invest in yourself every, every you you not only get better but everybody around you improves and so i just feel like it's it's huge it's important um you know, it'll double your income, like, or at least put you six months ahead of somebody else who didn't go. Uh, I've seen that in my own, my own business and in others. So, um, and then for the rest of the call, I wanted to get some feedback from, from everybody on, um, how you how you feel like your business is going so because we're coming up on to the end of the first quarter i wanted to see if i could get some feedback from everybody so surprise i'm gonna have you talk <laughs> on maybe what some of your goals are 
going into the second quarter because there's a lot of other things you could be doing other than being on a team call at 7.30, right? Um, so I want to I want to recognize, hey, you're here and appreciate you for that. But I also want to, you know, have you share maybe what some of your goals are or what you want to improve on in the second quarter of this year. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start. So, you know, feel free to speak up. It could be something small, right? It could be like, you know, I want to consistently, you know, sit down with five people because this quarter I've, it's been random. It could even be that, right? Or I want to um, get better at working my warm market and help, you know, I have a goal of helping 10 people in my warm market in quarter two. Or I want to read five books in the second quarter. It, could be, it doesn't have to be all business related. It could be something personal. Um, but some of my goals is I want to have uh, help two people hit agency manager on, on our team. And that is a goal to try to accomplish in the second quarter. So what that means is just 25. If you don't know what that means, it's 25,000 uh, in premium. So basically 25 families that we helped and from two different people. So half of it, about 12,000 of it could be you. Okay. But the other half has to be from someone else. If that makes sense. Um, so I want to help two people do that. And then personally, I want to, I want to have on average 30,000. So 30 people per month that I've helped on my personal sales which is a, a high goal. I've actually never done that in a row. I've done it one or two months here and there, spread out, but I've never done it consistently. And then um, third thing is have more time in my uh, schedule to be available for for the team to to be able to reach out and talk about how things are going. So those are mine. I open it up. Everybody else, if you want to start chiming in, if you want. To, I see you, Jeff. If you want to want to go, you can. Um. Hey, you know what I was thinking when you were talking about um, the events? Mm -hmm. I don't think we can hear you, buddy. He's self-muted. <laughs> it, it's 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 bald problem Monday. <laughs> no, can't you're still on mute, bro. Here. There you go. All right. Um yeah, I was I was on my phone and my other deal here. Um, you know, one of the things I was thinking about when you were talking about the events and doing stuff in person mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, we used to see each other every week <laughs> mm -hmm. and we don't do that anymore. So it, it is nice. We, um, I lost y'all. Okay. There you go. It is nice to be able to see everybody because, we don't that much anymore. And so, you know, if you never experience it and you don't miss it, and sometimes, you know, it was a lot. You know, Tuesdays were long days. <laughs> we do our dial sessions, we have our meetings, you know, and then we go hang out. Uh, that was the fun part. Um, and then sometimes we we're doing multiple meetings a week, different parts of town, but we saw each other a lot. And that's changed, so it's it's good to uh, it's good to go to the events because yeah, it's one of the rare times we get to see each other. Um, yeah, I'm focusing in the next 
quarter more on leads. I've been working current client a lot. Um, I've also kind of been getting up to speed a little bit more, you know, doing things remote. Um, I'm going to see how it works doing the um, virtual sales and, you know, but I'm, you know, I'm happy to go see people too. I think it's a lot of times, you know, I know that if I'm in front of people, I'm going to sell, you know, like they say, about an average of one policy per home at least. Um, it doesn't mean you get them all, but, you know, I get multiple policies in certain homes and, you know, you wouldn't get them if you weren't there face to face. It's just how it is. So um looking forward to doing that and uh and seeing everybody more. Cool man. Appreciate you sharing. Anybody else? I'm gonna try to be more focused. And improve. Yeah. It's been a struggle because I'm doing that night shift, and but I've got to adjust to it. I'm finally getting more energy. Yeah, I know how a night shift is. That's I was working night shift when I started the, the business. So I know how you feel. I did it for a whole year. So. Yeah. Yeah. But you can do it. Yeah, I want to get where I don't have to have that. Yeah, for sure. Johnny, didn't you work like one day a week when you did that? or? Yeah, I just started with one day doing this business. Uh, I just picked a day and uh, worked that day. I think I dialed the day before for like a couple of hours, but I don't really count that as a day of work, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah if you i mean just write down you know like pick one day every week you're gonna focus on it and start there that's and a good idea you, that would make it a lot more doable yeah it makes it a lot more uh uh it's a word i'm looking for it's not it doesn't feel like it's such a big focus thing yeah not it's, a, it's not a, such a big thing to tackle yeah you're breaking it down into smaller smaller piece uh, if you do it consistently you'd be surprised you know after three months how much you've been able to accomplish just by doing it one day every single week you know so it's good stuff i know some people i know some people are working, but anybody else have anything that you wanted to share or maybe had thoughts on or wanted some help with? I mean, I can go over my goals. Yeah, go for it. Um, yeah, I mean, I really want to write 15 apps a week, but 30000 a month issue paid is a good goal for me right now. Um, I really want to do an annuity a week and an IUL a week. I'm focusing more on those, um, but doing all the other stuff too for people. So I'm fired up about this week, this this new quarter that we're that we're uh, about to be in. And yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. So yeah. Annuity week, IUL week, that's great. Business is out there. People need help with it. So why not you? Love it. Anybody else? Yeah. Did you say something, Michelle? I was going to say, I have like three in the pipeline right now waiting on to fill out applications and annuities and then several IULs in the pipeline too. So it's, yeah. it's just doing the those type of appointments more is going to yield you more results. 
just mm-hmm. like Beverly working one day a week is going to yield you more results, you know. Yeah, and it's never uh, it's never comfortable doing, you know. Each step you take to stretch yourself is never like it's never comfortable. You know, so if you're feeling a little uncomfortable, it's a good sign. It means that it's uh, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Bella wants to say something. I mean, Megan. <laughs> Yeah, we are one these days. Um, My goal for the second quarter is to try to refine my schedule a little bit more so that I can work more new appointments that are coming in. Um, Like new leads is what I mean, and not just like my low-hanging fruit, right, which would be the easy stuff, the the things I had already planted before having a baby or the current client call-ins um, and actually having a more um, defined or refined schedule that allows me to talk to more new leads. And of course, hang out with this team. Very good. Anybody else? Well, it's getting big fast. How much does she weigh? She's almost 14 pounds now. That sack of potato gets heavier and heavier. Aww. Yes, and getting big. Awesome. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, she's getting big, Jeff, man. They go, they go, they, they change so fast. <laughs> Very fast. Yep. I just got to tell everybody, you know, one thing about, about goals, it's just a, you know, it, it's, it's like, to me, it, it, it's about, it's, it's that, it's that stake in the sand. Let's say you, I'm, I, I, y'all are all most of y'all are older, so I'm going to go with this. Y'all understand. Y'all seen the movies with quicksand, you know. It's that place where the where they they throw the the rope at you in quicksand. You know, it's that anchor, you know, and you got to pull yourself out of the quicksand. I know sometimes in this business, I mean, even even if we go on you know, take a break from sales for a few days and come back, it feels like everything's in quicksand, right? You know. And it just that goal is just a place that you're trying to get to, okay? It's that tension that pulls you forward. You know, make it something. You know, even even as simple as you know, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put one day on my calendar where I'm gonna focus 100% on this. You know, and 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 just start there. You know, just it, it's it's inch by inch. You know, and and it's it's really just about pulling yourself forward, staying where you're at. Is always almost like falling backwards, and sometimes it feels like even pulling yourself forward a little bit. You're still slipping some, but it's it's getting that momentum, it's getting that movement, you know. And you muted, Mike. You muted. Sorry, I touched my keyboard. <laughs> I'll put my hands up here. Um, you know, we had we had a friend of ours that was in the hospital for for like six weeks. Um, and you know, we were visiting with him and he was just like, you know, surprised at how much muscle atrophy happened, how much he lost muscle, you know, where he couldn't even support his own weight, you know? And, and I think about just even Michelle, you know, we were laughing and and yesterday she's got one of those little balance pads, you know, here at the house. And she's like, you know, you come over here and you try this thing, you know, and it's, it's tough, man. You know, you got to stand on this little soft thing and stand on one leg, like a, like a you know flamingo you know and the the thing is is you just got to get like little things to get the right muscles in shape you know 
Um, just like a singer, you just got to sing. Sometimes it's just practicing in your own mind. I mean, look, you can do this driving back and forth to the job you got right now. Just talk to yourself. People today don't really think you're crazy anymore. You know, just talk to yourself. You know, pretend that you're talking to a client. Give yourself some easy clients, some lay downs. Give yourself some hard clients. But practice the the words and the way you say things because that's how you get better, you know. And, and trust me, and, and you go, man, I just, you know, I, I feel like, I, you know, I may never get this. Well, if, if you don't practice, you never will. I'll, I'll tell you that, you know, you got to practice it. You got to get into it every day. So, um, you know, I just want to encourage you to, to, to do that, to, to just practice saying opening lines. You know, I, I remember the very first appointment I ever went on. I still chuckle about it because I had a CD, which is different than a cassette tape, you know, but I had a CD of somebody doing their, you know, doing the first appointment. You know, and you had to rewind the CD just to the right spot to hear the same thing over and over again. I must listen to this one phrase 20 times, 30 times, and I practice it so much so that when I got to the door, you know, it was it just flowed out of my mouth and just like I needed to get that out so I get to the rest of it. Anyway, just want to encourage everybody. Just this is your this is your this is your 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 place to make something happen for your life. Practice it daily and then execute it on the days that you're going to do it. You know, just practice before. So when you show up at the game, you're ready. Yeah, that's my two cents. Yeah, it's a great way to end the call. It's really good stuff. Um, and if you haven't gone over, like, what your goals are in more detail with somebody, you don't have to. But it does help sharing them with someone. It could be doesn't have to be us, it could be someone else, but it does help doing that because then it, it's not only you that know what it is now, it's someone else in your life. So you it gives you another reason to um, accomplish it. Um, and this business is, I, I've never found any other business where you can go sit down with people, talk to them about insurance and finance products and do this well for yourself. Um, it's, it's incredible. So, um, yeah, Mike is right. It just takes a little bit of repetition. So we'll go ahead and wrap it up, but y'all have a wonderful week. We got the coaching call in one hour. So I'm going to keep that rolling and, uh, Reach out. You got Slack, phone numbers. Let us know how we can help. We'll see you. Thanks for your time. Thanks for being here.